Hey everyone, thanks for joining us at your guy the Outsides Research Center. We're here at the dining room table again. Uh, we've got a little series going on about um, our antelope hunts in Wyoming and how we draw those tags. So look for those down in the description. Today we're going to be talking about base map and how we use that after we determine uh, which areas we want to hunt in Wyoming. Um, how we use base map to determine, do some e-scouting and determine if those are going to be some good locations and accessibility uh, to the public ground that are in those areas. So uh, make sure you check in the description. We've got another one about how we use Go Hunt to determine the areas. Uh, our antelope hunt out there from 2020 uh, is out there, so make sure you look at it. And, uh, and then we have a, a video on all of the resources that we use from uh, start to finish and picking our areas. So make sure you check that, and we'll put all that down in the description. So here we go. I like using uh, my laptop to do e-scouting, but base map has a little bit of a glitch they're working on. I'm going to show you how to fix that. So here it is uh, when you go out to the website, and then when you go to maps, it'll pull up and it'll look just like this. So the problem that I found is that when you're trying to find public ground, you should be able to click on it, and it gives you some information about that piece of ground. So here you see the yellow is BLM and the blue is uh, state property. So if you click on it, it should bring up some information about that property, but it's not. So I talked to Basemap and they're working uh, with their web developer to get that fixed. Um, Basemap is really an application, it's really an app. So uh, if you come over here to this three dots and come down to apps, and then I already did it. I installed it as an app. And what it'll do is it'll put an icon out on your front page. When you double click on it, it'll go right to the maps. And it'll look just like um, it did before. Except for let's drill down in here and, and look at a piece of property, and I'll show you what I was talking about. Get up here. Here's area 17. And there it's populating it. So you should be able to click right on that and it tells you where it's at, what area. And what we're really looking for is how many acres it is. So it's 640 acres. So that's right at a section. So most state properties, are, you'll see them, they're just a square like that. And it's a section, a mile by a mile square. And that's 640 acres. So when you're looking on these maps, you just see these little squares, you'll know that that's 640 acres. Uh, you can click over on the yellow, and it'll give you that. This is BLM property, that's 20,000 acres right through here. And that's just all that continuous piece. And then there's another piece down here. I did scout this area, and it's I think it's too hilly. I've seen some antelope out in here. Um, you can see those waypoints. So that's how you fix the problem with uh, base map. You're not being able to see what the information on the area is. So, all right, let's get back to what we we're come here to talk about. So the way I use base map for e scouting is one, we'll see where the antelope area is and if there's any, even any antelope in the area, and then two, we'll try to drill down a little closer and look to see about accessibility. So here's area 10. All right, so over here in the layers, you can see the active layers. I have the antelope units for Wyoming on and the government land, and that's what you see there. So the other layer we want to turn on here is going to be in the hunting portion. Wyoming's all the way to the bottom, and we want to look at species. Antelope, and then we want to know where they're at. So they're year long range. That's what we want to know. So you can see it populate there. It looks like they're pretty much all over area 10. Then let's bounce over to 19. And area 19, not so much. Um, 
You'll find them out in places that this doesn't show you. You can see that right here in Area 17. We saw some antelope consistently here on private property. Um, and that it was out of the area, but um, for the most part, it's pretty, pretty true. I'm not saying I wouldn't come down in here and drive by these areas and see if there's some there or not, but um, I would use this as kind of a desire how I was going to um, pick antelope areas. So it looks like 10 is going to have maybe the most coverage. Um, let's go turn that off so we can see a little better of what we got. So next thing you want to look for our roads. We're going to see what kind of major roads we got coming through this thing. So you, you'll see roads all over the place, but a lot of them are farm roads or oil field roads, and, and they're just not accessible. Kind of what I found is if they have a name, like this Lower Piney Creek Road, cuts right through here, that's accessible. Um, so you'd be able to, if this touches, so see how it goes right across this piece of property, you'd be able to park on the side of the road and walk all this. You wouldn't be able to get to this without trespassing. So there's a little bit there. Not a whole lot of roads in here. You'd be able to get to this from the highway. You'd be able to hunt this from the highway. I don't know if you'd be able to get to that. I don't see that you would. A whole lot of roads in this piece. Here's a Highway 40. So you'd be able to get to these two pieces. It looks like probably this road. Take you somewhere. Uh, not where you want to go. So, if there's anything, you'd be able to hunt this piece. And crossing this one? No. So, you just have to take some time and pour over these and see how much of this you'd be able to hunt compared how much you'd be able to hunt over here in 19. You would be able to get on this piece of property pretty easily. And this is a mile right here, so this thing's probably almost four miles deep and four miles wide. Um, so that's gonna be a pretty big chunk of ground to cover. And I don't really see a road cutting through it. Like there's an area to park and then it's kind of a walk-in area. So it might be a pretty good place if you're outgoing. Really want to get back in there. You can camp on BLM land. So that may not be too bad there. Just kind of browsing through here. Not sure if there's any other pieces that would be accessible. Probably a private airport, I mean, just a little landing strip or something. Or you 
get to that from the highway. That's not very big though, right? 40 acres. Yep, 40.7. That really kind of looks like your majority of what you'd be able to access in Area 19. You get up here, but it didn't really show that they hang out here on the on the map. So, so there's some of your decisions you have to make. Is uh, this year you don't have that many decisions to make? You got 10 and 19. I guess you could put in for both of them. Uh, decide which one you want to be your first pick and then um, looks to me like if you wanted to do more driving then hiking put in for area 10 and then there's probably more accessible uh, areas in 10 as far as just different places um, 19 looks like it's going to have more public ground you can hunt um, but it's all in one spot so I don't think that You'd be doing you'd be doing a lot of hiking, maybe not so much driving around. So there you have it. So we use base map. Once we decide to go to go hunt, we decide, hey, these are the areas we can hunt with zero points this year. We go to base map, we look to see where the antelope are hanging out, and then we look to see if we can even access those places. And then once we get that figured out, we just kind of rank them, and then we go to the next step which would be go to the uh, Wyoming Game and Fish website and apply for your licenses so hey thanks for watching and uh, as always don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and share this with your friends uh, if you like these videos this is the third um, part of kind of the little series we're doing make sure you look in the description below and we'll put a link to the first one we did on all the resources that we use to get our hunts. And then the second one is uh, how we use Go Hunt to determine what areas we can hunt with the points that we have available to us. And then this uh, video on base map, of course, is the third part of that where we get in and see if uh, the areas that are available for us to hunt uh, even have antelope on them. And uh, if any of the property, public ground is accessible to us. So... Look for all that down in the link along with the 2020 hunt uh, that we did. In, uh, and then look for, uh, there's going to be a video come out that I'm going to kind of try to cover different options. Since there's not very many options this year um, for zero points, there are some other options we can look for. And, and I'll try to get a video put together, so be looking for that too. So, And in the meantime, make sure you get out there and do something.